again and welcome to Hot Flashes in the Pan, a series of how to cook inexpensively and healthy for your family. I'm Agnes and I am the Hot Flashes in the Pan lady. Uh, if this is a second in the series. Uh, this is number two of how to prepare, pre-prepare vegetables. If you missed version number one, please go to my blog, ladies.com and you can pull up uh, the number one session. If you recall, last session we showed you how we chopped up six yellow, red, and orange peppers and prepared them to be frozen so that you can use them for all of your dishes during the course of however long you want to use them. Today we're going to do onions. Now, onions sometimes come in these big bags, and I've gotten a big bag of this at the local market. And I've already used some of them, but I still have a few more to cut up. And before they go bad, and I end up wasting them, wasting my money, which I don't like to do, ever, I want to go ahead and cut them up and prepare them and put them in Ziploc bags and freeze them so that I can use them, have them when I need them. So we've got this big bag, and these are Vidalia uh, onions, which I like the best because they're sweet onions and they're from the south. They're usually from Georgia. On this particular bag, it has a bunch of recipes on the back, so I'll have to check those out. But in the meantime, we're gonna cut up these onions. now. I saw on Dr. Oz's show the other day, he said you should never put your onions in the refrigerator because that ruins the taste, but I have found that I didn't see any difference between a fresh unrefrigerated or a frozen onion. And then I heard years ago on another cooking show somewhere that if you put the onions in the refrigerator like overnight before you cut them, then that doesn't cause you to cry. Now, I did try that. As soon as I got these onions, I did cut up two or three of them without refrigerating them. And I could barely see because my eyes were tearing up and my nose was running and it was just a terrible experience. So, I went to plan B and refrigerated. And if they don't have the full taste and flavor, once they get into the sauces and mixes that I use them in, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell the difference. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this outer yellow skin. Sometimes it's easier to take off than not. And I'm gonna use this little bowl for my scraps. Well, this little guy just doesn't seem to want to come off. Sometimes you have to almost use your knife to scrape it off. Sometimes it'll just peel right off. I don't like to really use a knife like this because it also takes off some of the onion layer. But this little guy just doesn't seem to want to come off very easily. So we'll have to just make do. What I'm doing with this series of videos is trying to show you how I try to cook um, on a budget with quick and easy meals, nothing real complicated, and that you can do quickly. A lot of it has to do with some pre-prep and freezing in Ziploc bags some of the um, ingredients because especially in today's world, everybody's on a budget. And everybody's working hard and you don't have a lot of time to cook and prepare meals. And I have two kind of knives, a serrated knife and I have a chef's knife. A lot of the things I'll be going through in each video, I might be repeating from previous videos, but for those guests, that haven't seen the other videos may not know what I'm talking about. So if I do repeat myself and you're following my video series, just bear with me because I'm gonna to try to uh, 
cover everything on each video. Now what I'm doing is taking these refrigerated onions and I'm going to use this chef knife on this one. I seem to like it better when it doesn't have a skin like a tomato or a pepper. I, I seem to like these better. And if you notice, my eyes aren't watering yet. Now, I like to make my vegetables chunky. And what we did is we just took the onion, we cut off the top, and we cut off this bottom part with the root. Also, I heard somewhere that if you leave the root part on until the very end, that won't cause you to get teary-eyed either. However, I tried that with a fresh onion that hadn't been refrigerated, and let me tell you, I got teary-eyed. So, I'm not sure where that came from. But we just cut slices, and then we took the slices, and we're just kind of roughly chopping them up. I don't like little bitty tiny pieces like this. I like big chunky pieces like this. Oh, and if you notice, I'm wearing these little inexpensive disposable gloves that you can get at Walmart or Sam. I find it better at Sam's and Costco because you can get these uh, big double pack boxes and they're less expensive. But by wearing these little gloves, then I don't get these onion juices on my hands. So when I finish cutting, I'm just going to just take the gloves off and throw them off away with the scraps. Now I'm going to cut the top part where the little curly cue thing was off first. Whoops. I'm dumping all my stuff in my sink. I'm sitting in my little bowl here. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to peel away this outer layer of this real thin skin. See, now this one's coming off real easy. The other one was not being very cooperative. But this one's coming off a lot easier. Oops. Okay, so now we've got this little top thin skin off. And we're ready to start slicing. Now what I usually do is, see, now I'm going to leave this root part together to the very end because that also holds all the little layers of the onion together if you leave this little root part on. And then we're just going to cut it into slices. And I'm going to use my chef knife. Now you see how I just kind of like cut a slice like you would like an onion ring or something like that. But then you got to be careful not to cut your fingers. So when I get down to this bottom part, I just kind of start whacking at it at an angle. And then I just leave that little cube from the root end. I don't know if y'all can see that. But see that little root end, and then I just scrap that part. So now I've got my stacks of rings. And I'm just going to start cutting them in half and quarters this way and I'm going to just turn it and I'm going to just I'm gonna move these out of the way and then I'm just going to just cut it the other direction you know however you want to cut it I'm losing a lot of my stuff in my sink here um, however if you want to chop them up small you can chop them up small if you want to chop them up or if you want to leave them in the rings, you can leave them in the rings. Uh, however you, you know, like to cook with them. So that's two onions. 